How many pieces of outerwear do you really need? Is it 10 or five, maybe just one or two? Obviously this depends on where you live. If you're in Southern California and you don't travel much, maybe you just need a couple of light and medium weight jackets. On the other hand, if you live in New York City and travel all the time, you probably need a full-fledged outerwear collection. So in this video, I'm gonna try to help you determine the minimum number of outerwear pieces that you need to be covered for every season and occasion. Before we get into it, quick thank you to today is sponsor Geology. Geology is a simple and effective skincare routine that works for your specific skin type. I know a lot of guys are kind of skeptical about skincare. Maybe you think it takes too much time or you're not sure if it actually works, but I'm telling you it is very important and it only takes a couple of minutes a day. Now, unlike anything you'll find in the store, Geology is personalized for your individual skin type. Maybe you have oily skin or you have adult acne or like me, your skin gets extremely dry during the winter time. Geology can help. So here's how it works. You go to their website, you take a 30 second diagnostic quiz and Geology formulates regimen that provides whatever you need. So whether it's reducing wrinkles or getting rid of excess oil, your regimen will be targeted for that specific problem. Then you start with the 30 day trial set that includes everyday face wash, morning face cream, repairing night cream and eye cream. Once you're happy with your regimen, you can continue with a 90 day supply by subscribing or just buy a la carte so you're not locked into anything. I actually tried Geology back in May of 2019 and I was really impressed with the ingredients that were included in my regimen. For example, my face wash has salicylic acid that helps fight acne. The morning face cream has SPF built right in, which for me is absolutely necessary. And the repairing night cream has retinol in it, which is an anti-aging ingredient that I know works well for my skin. I've tried a lot of skincare brands and I keep coming back to Geology. It's the stuff that I use every day right now. And while my skin's not perfect, it will never be perfect. I'm really happy with how it looks these days. So if you need a better skincare routine, click the link down in the description, take the 30 second quiz and see what your Geology regimen would look like. If you do decide to try Geology, you can get 30% off with the code MODEST30. And that brings your total cost of your skincare routine to less than a dollar a day. So I think your skin is worth it. One more time, check the link in the description to check out Geology. All right, before we get into it, I wanna remind you that minimalism is not a competition. It's not about owning the fewest number of things. It's about not owning things that you don't actually need or use. So in this case, we're trying to whittle down our outerwear collection to include only the pieces that we actually wear on a regular basis. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna assume that you travel a couple times a year, that you live in an environment that gets all four seasons, so winter, spring, summer, and fall. I'm gonna assume that you dress in smart casual or business casual outfits during the week and more casually on the weekends. In other words, you're a typical 20, 30, or 40 something guy. So I think at a minimum, you need a lightweight jacket, two medium weight jackets, one more casual and one more dressy, and then two heavyweight jackets, one casual and one dressy. So let's start with the lightweight outerwear and look at our options. These are the pieces that keep you warm on cool summer nights or warm spring and fall days. These light jackets can also be used indoors if you know it's gonna be cold, like on an airplane or in a movie theater. Some options include overshirts or shackets like this one, windbreakers or shells, denim jackets, and lightweight vests. You probably only need one or two pieces of lightweight outerwear, and this specific colors and styles will depend on your personality and your style aesthetic. For example, some guys are gonna go with a Levi's trucker jacket, other guys are gonna go with like a Patagonia shell, and they both kind of serve the same purpose, but they have completely different vibes. Next up, you need some mid-weight outerwear, and these medium weight pieces are probably the most versatile. They're probably gonna get more wear than anything else in your outerwear collection. A solid medium weight jacket is gonna carry you from spring into early summer, and then fall into early winter. Some medium weight jackets can even be worn in winter if you layer up a little bit. So medium weight jackets to consider, you have your leather jackets, light down jackets, field jackets, 
Harringtons or bomber jackets and pea coats. Personally, I like having a couple different medium weight jackets in my collection. I get just as much wear from my lightweight down jacket as I do from my leather jacket or field jacket. You know, if you're more of a rugged or preppy guy, you can probably skip the down jacket. If you have more of a contemporary minimalist aesthetic, you can probably skip the leather jacket and the field jacket and go with like a suede bomber. And finally, to round out your outerwear collection, you're gonna need a couple of heavyweight outerwear pieces. These are the kind of coats that offer enough insulation to keep you warm with just one or two layers underneath. Sometimes they have other cold weather protective features like tall collars and hand warmer pockets or fur lined hoods. They'll often have drawstrings and adjustable sleeves and water resistant fabric. And I don't think everybody needs all of these bells and whistles, but they can be a game changer if you live somewhere that experiences true winter weather. So for heavy outerwear, you kind of have two directions you can go. First up, you have your winter parkas. And depending on where you live, you might need a true winter parka. Now these come with all different levels of fill and sort of cold weather ratings. So obviously look at the specs before you buy anything, but most parkas are filled with a down or a down alternative, and they're very, very warm. So, you know, ideally you could wear a parka like over a t-shirt in the middle of winter and it'll keep you warm. Now, most fashion brands that sell parkas, like if you go to a J. Crew or an Abercrombie uh, or a Ralph Lauren, they're gonna have a parka. And parkas made by these fashion brands are created with an emphasis on form over function. So, you know, they're gonna look good, but some of them might not be quite as hardcore in terms of their uh, weather resistance. You can also look at outdoor brands like Canada Goose and Patagonia and the North Face. Keep in mind, these brands are gonna emphasize function over form. So some of them might not look quite as stylish, but they definitely keep you warm. The other piece of heavyweight outerwear that I think it makes sense to have in your collection is the wool top coat. Since the parka is a more casual garment, if you dress up often, I think it makes sense to also have some sort of overcoat in your collection. And these are actually really underrated because they can be dressed down. Like you can wear these casually or with smart casual outfits, but you can also wear them with business casual outfits and with suits. Now, if you're shopping for a wool top coat, I would recommend trying to find something that is 100% wool or at least mostly wool. A wool polyester blend is okay, but you don't want to get something that's 100% synthetic. If you really want to go high class, you can look for a wool cashmere blend. Just keep in mind, these are going to be a bit more expensive. I think the best length for these jackets is mid thigh. I think anything that goes past your knees looks a little bit too long, especially on shorter guys, but that mid thigh length is perfect on pretty much everybody. Now, if you've got all of these basics covered and you want to round out your collection a little bit, you can add some supplemental outerwear pieces. These are things like quilted jackets, fleece zip ups, raincoats, and pea coats. I think the most obvious piece of supplemental outerwear is the raincoat, you know, especially if you live somewhere that does get a lot of rain. I'm always surprised at how much use I get out of my raincoat. But then a lot of guys would consider their outerwear collection to be incomplete without a quilted jacket or a pea coat. So it just goes to show that this stuff is subjective. Let's talk about the best colors for outerwear. So if you're trying to keep your collection lean, it makes sense to try to get colors that work with everything else in your wardrobe. The best colors for any kind of outerwear are charcoal, navy, olive, and tan. Dark green, dark brown, burgundy, and lighter shades of blue are also pretty versatile. If you're more into the monochromatic or streetwear aesthetic, just go with black, gray, or off-white. When in doubt, dark gray and navy are both great choices. Okay, so we've covered the different outerwear categories. We've talked about the best colors for outerwear. Let's look at a couple of example collections. Outerwear collection number one, prep school cool. So if you carpooled to high school in a Volvo station wagon with your friend Landon, who happened to be captain of the lacrosse team, this collection is for you. This is a preppy outerwear collection. I think it's a great starting place for really anybody, especially if you're not really sure what your style aesthetic is. These outerwear pieces go with everything else in your closet, even that old Oxford shirt that your mom got you from Abercrombie. Collection number two, the Modern Minimalist. Now this one is still very easy to pull off, but it leans slightly less preppy. If you prefer unbranded clothing and clean silhouettes, this collection is for you. It's pretty neutral and understated. It's really kind of a blank slate, so it's gonna work with anything else in your wardrobe. And if you do have some bold statement pieces, they can fit right in with this outerwear collection. Collection number three, I'm calling Slightly Street. This outerwear collection is more monochromatic. It's a little edgier, a little more contemporary. And I'm not saying this is like a streetwear collection. To be honest, I don't really know much about streetwear, but this is the kind of collection that I feel like a lot of people that live in New York gravitate toward. So if your closet is 
full of black, gray, and white, and your worst nightmare is getting a pair of bean boots for Christmas, this collection might be for you. These pieces are gonna go well with white sneakers, black Chelsea boots, distressed slim fit jeans, and plain white t-shirts. And example collection number four, let's call the Avid Adventurer. Do you love hiking? Are you a card-carrying member of the REI Co-op? Have you renewed your membership to the local bouldering gym? If so, this collection is for you. So these pieces are actually built for heavy outdoor use. They're made with mostly synthetic materials that are gonna keep you dry and warm and well ventilated as you head out for your next adventure even if that adventure is just driving to Whole Foods to pick up some more cliff bars. This collection is more colorful and none of these coats are particularly dressy. So if you do dress up even just a couple times a year, it might still be a good idea to grab a wool top coat. And obviously these are just four examples. You know, your style doesn't have to fit into like one aesthetic. You don't have to say, I'm preppy, so I'm gonna buy preppy outerwear, or I'm a minimalist, so I'm gonna buy minimalist outerwear. These are just examples to kind of help you think about building out your outerwear collection. You know, for me, I probably have four or five jackets that I wear all the time, and then another four or five jackets that don't get as much use, but that I keep on hand for the right occasion. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions for me about outerwear or anything else, leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you as always for watching and until next time, stay stylish.